Hi, this is Janice Pope of Anything But Boring. I'm going to do a demonstration of paper piecing, which will make this little table runner. The tools for this project are a rotary cutter, and this is called Add a Quarter, special ruler. You'll need your paper piece pattern, and then I'll start by laying out all the blocks. You start with piece number one. You're going to place it on the back side of the paper, completely covering every side. Pin that in place. Then you add piece number two. You're going to line it up right along the very same line as piece number one and piece number two. This is a quarter inch over and, and this far. And now you're going to make after pinning piece number two in place, you're going to make your first seam right along the line between one and two. Don't forget to lower your stitch length. You'll start a little before and end a little after. I am using black thread, which I don't normally use. There's our seam. You can actually trim this to be a perfect quarter. You're going to fold piece number two to be right side. Now you're going to fold the paper between two and three. That's your next seam to sew. You're going to make that seam allowance one quarter inch. Now you're going to add piece number three. Fold, hand press, fold between three and four, take off the excess seam allowance, you're ready for piece number four. I usually just trim all the threads when I'm finished. Finger press. Fold the paper between four and five. Remove the seam allowance. Ready for number five. Fold between five and six. You're going to fold sew number six now. Finger press. Between six and seven, you're then going to add your quarter inch seam. Ready for number seven. Now, number seven, what we're going to do here is once we get him in place, we're going to just stitch him so he'll stay in the right side. I just did a little basting stitch on that. Okay, we're now going to sew to number 8. This was 1 through 7. We're now going to do 8, so we're going to trim this seam to be our quarter inch. And to neaten things up a little, we can trim off all these little scragglies. There we go. So, we're going to put, place our finger 
um, on that seam line. Just push those out of the way and trim. Now we're ready to add number eight. Perfect points. I have a lot of friends who love paper piecing because of the precision involved. Now we're ready to add number nine. And the same thing with number nine that we did with number seven. Finger press. And we're just going to stitch right in that seam allowance. And we're ready to add number 10. So fold up on the line. Reduce the seam allowance to a quarter. Now you're going to stitch all the way around in a basting stitch. Now you're going to trim your block up. So my basting stitch is anywhere within that quarter inch uh, seam allowance. And I set my machine on about a four or a five, if you've got a five. Uh, what that will do is just basically stabilize the edges. When it's time, your actual seam, this will not be seen. The last thing will be curved piecing. And here's the finished block.